So hi everyone, can we hear me okay over there? Yeah, perfect. Um, so yeah, so I think now the, the research agenda uh, session, basically we're gonna um, split that into uh, three ways. So first I'm going to do a small presentation um, to review the Colorado Research Agenda and the output research session um, from the last annual meetings of the GTFCC. Uh, then we will do a round table of the different partners involved in research um, to update on their progress. So we would have uh, IVI, uh, University of Gothenburg, I think online, Johns Hopkins and, and a few others. Uh, and finally, after this presentation in the round table, we're going to have a discussion uh, on the priorities and needs, uh, the work plan for 2023. Uh, and as well ending up on how to better uh, have to have a better system for communication on the research progress uh, to the OCV working group. And what we really want to, to understand by the end of this session on this discussion is, is the research ongoing actually addressing the research agenda um, that we are set up. So I won't take too much time on the uh, context of the research agenda. I think most, if not all of you are aware of, of what it is, but just in a, as a keywords, um, this was made to identify knowledge or evidence gaps uh, to cholera experts and to make this prioritized uh, list of research questions uh, that are important to uh, achieve the roadmap uh, goals. So it was launched in 2021, um, actually after a long effort. So you can see that it started uh, originally with a MMGH and with welcome some some of my colleagues that you might know Helen Groves or my ex colleague Elizabeth Clem, um, then as well the GTFCC uh, working groups and different uh, experts that you see uh, listed in the steering committees that help to put together uh, this cholera roadmap research agenda, uh, and then we have our colleagues from uh, Global Health Visions helping us on uh, how to make this research agenda uh, advocacy and uh, monitor and evaluate its progress. So obviously I won't go into the list of all the agenda, but um, you can find it obviously on the GTFCC website. Just to mention that this is divided in a few uh, pillars. So the five, uh, so the OCV, the WASH, the surveillance, the community engagement, case management, and then some that are overlapping, so all pillars. And uh, what's to mention on this list of 20 questions uh, for the research agenda is that nine were particularly on OCV uh, and two were actually cross-cutting. And I think when you look at the one that are highlighted in, uh, in yellow cross-cutting, it sort of highlights what was discussed this morning, I think, with the wish of integration of OCV and WASH, because uh, the ones that are not only OCV are uh, usually, you can see, with the, the WASH uh, icon. Um. So within these uh, nine or 11 OCV-related uh, research agenda questions, uh, there were a top five uh, research priorities that were um, that were uh, kept or that of particular interest. So the first one on really the, the schedule of uh, of OCVs. The second one more on the strategy to, optimi to optimize the OCV coverage in hard to reach uh, populations. The third one really on looking at this WASH uh, packages integration and these additional benefits of having WASH uh, with OCV campaigns. The first one, looking at the number of doses to a CV for uh, follow-up campaigns, and finally uh, the last one, looking at the um, at the impact of a CV on disease transmission. So here you can see as well that we have um, we have the cholera research tracker, and I think this is mostly a slide for a reminder that um, everyone involved in research on cholera should ideally uh, log in there and log their, their research projects. So in the next few slides, we're gonna show you which ones are related to OCV. But yeah, just a few are already missing. So uh, please, as the last bullet point mentioned, don't, don't forget to update your project um, and the project status for the ones that are already there. So within these five uh, particularly interesting or particularly prioritized, let's say, um, OCV research questions, um, you can see that there were uh, a few um, a few uh, ones in the research tracker. So uh, from the Johns Hopkins University, the mass cholera vaccination in DRC, uh, as well some from Epicentre and the impact evaluation of OCV preventative campaign and 
uh, from IVI on uh, cholera control and prevention in Ethiopia. Um, we talked a bit on the last session about new vaccines, so there are a few that are also registered there, uh, notably the, the oral cholera vaccine reformulation from IVI. Uh, we have some others from uh, Mass, General, Mass Gen Hospital and uh, as well another one from, from the US, uh, which I think now is called Pencol from the Matt Walder team. Um, we might have in the round table as well a few other updates on, on ongoing projects, notably I think at the last annual meeting, uh, Julia from IVI mentioned uh, another thermostable uh, OCV called Duocall um, that the University of Gothenburg uh, has been uh, working on under welcome funding. Uh, and there might be a few others, so please don't forget to to register your, your interest there. And as well, maybe I should mention that there is the one most advanced from um, Hillcall and uh, Barat that I think is not in the research tracker. Um, so the liquid OCV as well, that would be uh, quite uh, affordable. And that I think started phase three or is about to start phase three. Start, yeah. Um, then a few gaps uh, and avenue of future research identified in the, in the last uh, working group meetings. So again, from these five uh, priority uh, uh, questions from the agenda, you can see that there were the, the dose intervals uh, particularly uh, are focused. And I think, again, it highlights from this morning session, I think we have some, uh, some um, studies in Nepal going on and also the second dose uh, studies. We are having as well on the on CATIS, uh, I think, Epicentre, there was a, a poster outside also uh, on that. So I think yes, there are some progress ongoing with these um, with these priority questions. So it would be nice during the roundtable to hear a bit more about that. And on the discovery side, uh, I think we will hear maybe from, from different uh, partners uh, about new vaccines. So I think this is the last slide that we are going to use to do the, the round table. Um, so I would invite the different uh, representatives of the of the listed uh, universities or partners, I should say, on this slide. Maybe afterwards I would as well do uh, a quick update from the welcome side. I don't know if other philanthropists or donors would like to also make one, but yeah, let's let's start with IVI if feasible.